for this stairway design, we are going to start with a circle and a diameter line and a center point. And then we will draw two lines equally spaced. Now, if you remember, half of a circle is 180 degrees. And in order to get these equally spaced lines, we're going to need to divide 180 by 3. And that's going to give us 3 60 degree equally spaced slices of our little pie here, for example. So this is going to be a 60 degree angle between this line and this line. And then a 60 degree angle between this one and this one. And then, of course, between this one and this one. That'll be another 60 degrees. Then we're going to connect the dots here to get the outside of the stairway. Now, for those of you having a, a difficult time drawing this, maybe you're, um, you can't figure out where to put the center point, something like that, start with a rectangle instead of the circle. You know, this might help. You're going to have the same center point and your, when you draw your circle on your building plans or whatever you're designing, you're going to end up with the same points. And hopefully that makes sense. So next step will be to draw the parallel lines to create the inside of the stairwell and or the stairway. So we're going to have our outside lines and the inside lines. You're just simply going to measure them from here. Um, this is four foot, for example. So you're just going to take a, your measuring devices, ruler, whatever you're using on the computer, come over and then equally space these so that they are the same sizes. Then we're going to draw a circle on the inside. Now the circle doesn't need to touch these lines. It can be any size. You can make it larger or smaller, but we're going to need to connect the lines here for this for these two sections and then divide these sections here equally just like we would on a circular set of stairs and I kind of want to show you why you know let's just say that we hey wait a minute I could just measure from here to here and that might not be the case these measurements this one and this one will be the same same with the outside and outside and these two inside ones, they'll be the same, but they won't be equally the same unless you're going to use the circle. So if you wanted to change your steps and have them a different width, yeah, you could do that. But if you want them all to be the same coming around for your circular walk line for this type of a stairway, then you're going to need to use the circle. And I hope that makes sense. Here we can see, and for those of you who can't, you might be on a cell phone or something. Here we have one foot five and a quarter inch from here to here. And then here, and then that would be the same measurement on this one here. And then on the two inside ones, we have one foot two and 15 sixteenths. So almost one foot three inches or 15 inches for the inside. But I just wanted to point out that even if you went to here and you just said, wait a minute, I could just I could just measure and equally divide these measurements. You can't. You've got to use the circle. And that's kind of the point that uh, I got to drive home here for this particular stairway. And then you can simply fill the next two sections in in the same way. So you can work with one section at a time here. Next up, let's go ahead and erase some of the lines here so that we can see what the stairway is going to look like on the floor plan. Now, I want to point one more thing out. If I was to draw a circle from the center point through any section of the stairway here, you know, let's just say I went from right here. Let's just say from here to here was five feet and from here to here was seven feet. And I just went seven feet all the way around that at these points, they should be the same measurement. So I just wanted to throw that out there also. Here's what it will look like, floor plan, and then after it is built. Another view of it there. Come in four steps in each section up to the floor. Looking good there. Another view of it there. 
and we will wrap up this particular stair design right here. In our next and final example, I am going to insert one additional step into the each section of the stairs. If you remember before, we had four steps and here we have five. Just kind of throwing out another idea. I know a lot of people get locked into when uh, I draw, draw something or design something is that's the only way you can get a little creative with this. You know, here we have five steps. You can um, add six if you have enough room or um, um, shrink it down to three if you need uh, it to be a little smaller. So again, don't get locked into one particular design or another. And don't forget, you can always mix and match some of the stuff in here. I know it's not easy for everyone to understand how you divide up the inside of the circle, how you can get the lines across here and stuff like that. If that's the case, you need more info. Um, make sure that you leave a comment. Let me know. I can't help everybody all the time. I know this is beginning. When I first started doing my videos, I didn't have a problem. I could help everybody. I got about, uh, you know, 20, 50 comments a week. Now it's getting uh, into the hundreds and uh, getting a little harder to help people. So, Anyway, any questions, leave them in the comment area, email them to me. Don't forget to mix and match some of these. Check out some of the other design videos. Um, you know, make sure that you're working with a design that you want to use and one that is going to be functional for the stairway user. Something like this might not be as practical as a circular stairway or a stairway that went up to a landing and up to another landing and back up. So don't just think about the... Um, stairway design. Think about how the handrail is going to be used. If you're going to do all the work yourself, can you build the handrail? You know, keep that into, you know, consider, take that into consideration also. A lot more to just designing a set of stairs that nobody else has. Hey, I'm going to put this in. Nobody else has it. There might be a reason why. You're going to have to look into that and uh, figure out why this isn't a stairway that's used by everyone all the time.